He was one of the greatest entertainers and still one of the top thrillers of all time. Now Michael Jackson's unparalleled artistry is on stage at DCPA. MJ, the multi Tony winning musical, centered around the making of his 1992 Dangerous World Tour. That's right, here to give us the ABCs and the one, two, threes of the show, we welcome the man in the mirror, Brandon Lee Harris, who plays the one and only king of pop, Michael Jackson. Yeah. Brandon, thanks for being with us. Thank you all so much for having me. We got to see the show on Wednesday. Yes. You are so talented, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, so <laughs> talented. We were saying, this might be the closest we ever get to see yeah. a Michael Jackson that is concert. Such, mm -hmm. That is the highest honor. Talk Thank to us so a little bit about what the show is, because I think it even surprised us going yeah. into it. Yeah. Um, it. You know, that's something that a lot of people who saw the show and see the show still, that's what they think. Um, no one knows what they're getting into with this show. The show is a concert. The show takes place over two days of rehearsal, um, and Michael is getting ready for the Dangerous World Tour. He's getting interviewed by MTV, and in the interview process, he's basically just going through his life. Um, so you see a little Michael, you see him with the Jackson 5, and then you see myself. I come in at teenage Michael um, and take over until his solo career, and then back to Roman. Um, but it, it's, it's a really jam-packed, fun, like, Hitting, Truly, it was, it was yeah. hard to not want to stand up and dance around. Yeah. That's show. what we want. Yeah. That's what we want. We encourage people to come and like dance and sing and get up like you, that. That's what it is. You talk about kind of those flashbacks yeah. where yeah. you go from young Michael. You have you know Michael through the ages. We weren't expecting that, and it to be so seamless like this storyline. It was just <laughs> truly so beautifully done. You said Michael Jackson, one of your idols, growing yes. up your whole life. You guys have the same birthday. Wild. <laughs> this was like destined to be. <laughs> yes. How stinking cool. Talk about the process. You said you're you're kind of still constantly channeling him absolutely yeah absolutely um the process honestly i've been working with the mj company for a little over a year now um the, uh, we started working together in 2022 when i first started auditioning um and from then i've been in rehearsal rooms with all of the creators we have a team of brilliant people behind the scenes um getting us prepared for the show yeah. uh we work closely with rich and tone talawega who they were dancers that were discovered by Michael when they were teenagers. Wow. Um, and they went on tour with him. They choreographed for him later in his years. Um, and they work with all the uh, the middle Michaels, the MJs, the little Michaels cool. on really making the movement authentic. Mm. Um, and that's like, that's the hardest part. Yeah. yeah. That, is, that is the part where it's so much time that we spent. We spent months, mm -hmm. months on end, like rehearsing with them day in and day out, like really getting it down. Well, and that's got to be a lot of pressure because, of course, yeah. that's what Michael Jackson was Absolutely. known for is those Absolutely. moves that we had never seen right. anybody else yeah. doing. You did them so yes. well. How Thank hard you. was that? How long did that take to learn? Um, it took it took some time. I I went into this show not considering myself a dancer, mm -hmm. um, without like having you know a true dance background with class or anything, um, which Rich and Tone talked about. You know, Michael was so unorthodox. Michael learned by watching, um, growing up, and he he crafted his own unique style of dance. And so, being also from a background with with nothing, um, it made it easier to really kind of step in and really try to hone in on getting that down. We talk about the artistry of Michael on yeah. stage, and we really do see that. Like, I feel like I was watching almost a documentary in a way, like just seeing how intense he was with yeah. everything and yeah. changing things, and just his vision was so big. Uh, was there any part of this process for you that's been maybe uh, more on the challenging side to nail down? Um, absolutely. I mean, I think the role as a whole, I get to play Michael at such a a uh, pivotal point in his life and career. It's uh, It starts with him in the Jackson 5 leaving Motown, turning into the Jacksons, and then him, you know, diving into his own career and his own solo work. Um, and that's honestly very similar to where I am in life right now. So I think there's a lot of parallels in playing this role and then when I get off stage um, that, yeah, it, 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 it was challenging to, to step into, but it was also like very rewarding because it, it allowed me to figure out some things on my own. Wow. Well, Brandon, we're out of time, but I have to yes. ask just really yes. quickly, favorite Michael Jackson song? Oh, favorite Michael Jackson song. I keep getting access, and I will always say, uh, Baby Be Mine from Thriller it is yes. top tier. That whole album. It's amazing. incredible. So amazing. good. Best selling album of all time. I'm, I'm just mad we didn't see him pop out of a toaster this morning. <laughs> That's the only thing you're missing. <laughs> Brandon, we can't thank you enough for joining thank us you today. So You're so me. incredible. Keep breaking a leg all thank into you April so much. 28th. That's how long you can see MJ on stage at the Buell Theater DCPA. You can get your tickets right now at denvercenter.org. This is a show you don't want to miss. I know Truly. we say that with every show, but we mean it, y'all. <laughs> thank y'all so much. Yeah, thank, thank you, Brandon.